Hey everyone, welcome back to Plan Wrap. Uh, in the previous session, we have unlimited the register page, but there was a problem, which is when the layout. Now, the first thing that you will notice is the difference. Uh, I have started, or I have switched basically to Visual Studio 2022. It's available right now in the preview, so I have installed the preview edition. I was amazed by it, though. Then I said, okay, I will stack with it. I will mention the link in the previous in the description. So if you would like to also do this transition, you can do so. Uh, there is no effects. You can continue with 2019 or with VS Code. It's up to you or even Visual Studio for Mac. It's totally fine. But this one, there is some cool features. It's much better in the performance, the code completions, and some AI capabilities. So this is why I have switched it to this one. So if we run the project to see the problem that we have and we have to solve, which is the topic of this video, which is the layout of the register page is not working correctly. So okay. So here we go. If I click on login and then I click on create account, this is what you're going to see. So and if you notice that this one is not the same layout for this one. So if I go back to this one, and if I go back to the login form, you're going to notice that this folder is basically used only for the components and without routing, and we are putting the pages here. And we have integrated the page for register while I made a mistake and I put it directly here. So what I have to do is to move the router and the authentication. should click on add new razor component and I'll call this one register dot razor so this is the page that will serve this form so the form is just a component and not a page so and the mistake I did is putting the router here so now I will put the router again here and then I will define the layout to say the layout of the register page is the authentication Okay, let me see what is the layout of login. Auth layout. It's called auth layout. So, like that. And then we see we type register form. And this is it. Now, if we run the project. Okay. Cool, I'll choose login, then I will go to create account, and this, here we go. You can see we have this awesome uh, register form, and it looks like exactly like the login one. And if I try to create an account, another fake account, test at plannerappv2.com. First name, Ahmed, suffer like this, password. And then if I click create account, Okay. Oh, look at this magical stuff. So now if we type test at plannerappv2.com, test.123, click on login, and we got an error which says it seems I missed out the password. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. It's just working perfectly now everything is just working great and we have the register we have the login they are looking good they are functioning very well just one thing I have to do is if I click on logout you see if I click on create account I have noticed that this button is using it should be like this so I will go for the register form again and I will make the color of the create account equals color dot primary click save and this is it so now I will go to the get crack and I will state those changes fix the register forum layout commit and push so this is it for the for the session and right now I think we are done from the authentication system there is some stuff like refresh token we are going to mention this in a 
in a video uh, after finishing this course we will have a set of videos about localization refresh token and we are going to add some some topics we will see the communication with the microsoft to do items so we can see how we can use the microsoft authentication and dealing with the microsoft graph and so on so yeah we are going to talk about this in later videos but now the next session is we are going to start fetching the plans showing them and so on so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one